Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Metroid Dread with Robberlink. Hello. All right, so where we left off, we got through the section with the green Emmy again, this time going left, and it looks like we're nearing a control or central unit. Yeah. Looks like we'll have to head back in to the Emmy sector. Hopefully only for a short time. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, what are you? You're new. Here, let me counter you. Nope. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. I needed to be just slightly closer. Makes all the difference, apparently. Alright. Latch onto that. So, I think when I was editing, I saw that you can actually get away from Emmy units when they're in the yellow scan mode. It just takes them a minute to actually, you know, decide you're not there. Hmm. Because... Oh. oh. Well, if they don't run into you. Alright. Um, yeah, it was during the point where it was telling, it, like, the text was explaining when we first got it. The uh, the visuals made it look like you could still get away. Ah. Huh. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Too bad. Too hard. <laughs> Mixed up those two words. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Also, something I wanted to mention was I noticed that um, even in Metroid Dread, they still do the thing where you have 99 health. It's just a Metroid thing. Because I think you can sit on zero health and not be dead. I know that's how it was in the Prime games. I'm not sure about the others. I think that's pretty much always been a thing. I just find it kind of interesting how... Like, I assume originally they did it because... They didn't want to have to program showing three digits at once or something. Yeah, it could have been a limitation like that. But the fact that they can still keep it, it's kind of interesting. I might as well stick to it. Yep. Oh, I thought you were just one of those things that uh, floats around and can't be hurt. Nope. Oops. I should probably stop doing that and just do this the way I'm supposed to. Is this the way to the central unit? It may be. Yeah, it looks like the other way is just a way back, which I don't... Yeah, that thing isn't active anyways. Hmm. All right, may need to evade. How's the Emmy get around this <laughs> sector? I don't know. Whoa. Wait. Oh, that's how he can crawl through those. Oh, well, here's the exit from that area. Now we're safe again. That wasn't too bad. But, uh, we're not going towards the, uh, central unit anymore. There we go. So where are we headed? Somewhere. Didn't it say, yeah, purple is the transport area. Why is that one so huge? Maybe hmm. it's a train? <laughs> it's like a railway station? And what is this? It looks... Maybe destructible? Maybe I have to get something to attack the three spots at once. Hmm. Oh, there's something in the way. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to tell when you're mashing your face into something. It's like, hmm, yes, this wall is made of wall. That's an energy tank. Wait, what? Did you not see it? Oh, up there, yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, something I could have grabbed. I just want to be absolutely certain that you saw it. <laughs> just in case. Oh, so I do have to go back to there. So, something I noticed because someone somewhere pointed it out in a comment. Apparently, at the end of our first video of this, that room we entered where we ended, you could see something moving in the background. I don't know if you pointed it out or not, but I think it was Corpius while cloaked. You could still see, like, you know, the fluctuations of light. Who's Corpius? Uh, the one we destroyed to get the, uh, the Phantom Cloak. Do you... Remember? It's a new session. Have you forgotten already? I have, and that concerns me. The thing that had the thing in the tail that turned into the cube that we got. Oh, that thing. 
Now I remember that big monster thing. Yeah. You just leave me alone. Yeah, see, this is what I saw in a tutorial video while, while I was reading the text. That's how you do it. Thank you. Huh. Another thing is, I don't know if it just did it there, I wasn't looking, but during the first cutscene that you see the screen, Emmy, it does like a weird, uh, like a full front flip with its torso before it goes into the tunnel. Yeah, it did. And it's, there's a lot of like completely unnecessary looking movements that it does. Yeah, like, <laughs> which just makes it look silly. Like its back legs have, like its back feet are in front. When it crawls like that, like what? It, are you just showing off your animation? Like what? Cool, but there's no reason to. Like whoever was doing the model animation, it's like I'm going to show off and show them I'm the most skilled, and that this is why they should keep me as a employee. Not thinking that it might not look quite right to have so many animations. It's like, man, this is really what we spent our budget on. <laughs> Well, at least it looks fancy. Not good, but fancy. All right, so I've been here before. I don't know what I should be doing then. Wait, what? It says there's something destructible in there uh, and possibly here. Go left. A little more. Like, keep going, keep going. Up. It says that's a power beam door? But... I thought that had something on it that I couldn't destroy. Yeah, I thought... It had... Yeah, it's... Oh, there. Uh... It's a separate thing that's considered over it. Okay. So I guess you have to get an upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Yes, that's the Emmy. Hmm. Yeah, so what we opened was this way. And I don't know if we got anything new since we did that. I don't know if I've gone up there. Hmm. I could check. Yeah, I think that leads to the area that, um... Oh, I can't activate that at the moment. Yeah, because you deactivated it. I keep forgetting that. It's like, nope. You have to wait till it's fully charged again. Yeah, I think that area where you did the pump thing should be uh, open now. Because I saw the lava go down. And it looks like that's where that path may lead to. Oh, look, I got away. Oops, I didn't mean to whack the door, I meant to shoot it. I forgot, I'm not in the 21st century. You don't hit doors anymore. I was I was starting to watch some of our other M playthrough again because I am starting on like looking at what could be clippable clippable and putting into a compilation and uh that's that's the game where the doors open automatically and we were like you know, this is the problem. It's letting all these creatures in because you're not sticking to standard procedure to make the doors <laughs> require a weapon. Oh, I wonder if this was considered too hot. Yeah, I guess. So I drained the lava from here? Yeah. Okay. I wonder if I would have noticed if I was paying more attention. And like, yeah, see, there's that energy tank. Yeah. Oh, didn't see you there. Yeah, other M was, uh, something else, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was noticing that, uh, the way I talked was a lot different. I was a lot less confident sounding. And I wonder when that changed. Hmm. Ouch. I haven't really noticed. So it's, it probably was just gradual, <laughs> or maybe I was just 
Uh, energy. Uh. I had just watched the episode where we got an energy part in Other M too, and I was complaining about you know it's not something I like. I like it just have less often, but have a full energy tank uh. rather than energy parts. And there's another energy thing over there. I don't know if it's a part or a tank. This isn't Legend of Zelda. Yeah. With you know, heart containers. <laughs> Like, even if they wanted it to be, you know, like a fourth of an energy tank, I would prefer they just give you, like, the 25 energy. Yeah, that'd work, too. That'd be nice. So... So now, can you go, uh, up there? Oh! Because you pulled that down. Yeah, I didn't realize that was actually an opening. I thought where the, uh, the glass ended was just a wall, no matter what. You are correct. So, this way, I Eat. believe. Then up. Nope. Well, <laughs> first kill that as revenge. I pressed the button. Was it like, no, you, you spammed it too much. Now you can't do it. Probably. Whoops. Another thing that's kind of weird, like, I, I thought about... Oh, that's just an energy tank. Nice. So I do actually get more health. Anyways, I was thinking about... Uh, how the Emmy, how it's green and it looks kind of weird. Uh, yeah. I think, I'm not positive, but I, positive, but I think if they had more detail to it, or if they just committed to making it look like more shiny or reflective, it would probably look better. But the fact that it's just such a saturated, sharp green. Yeah, like it's just, you know, like, what can you tell me about how it looks? It's green. It is blindingly green. <laughs> Not not in a shiny way, just in a very, very saturated way. It's like, what kind of green are we talking? Um, green. What is this way? Oh. There's that, but I don't think I need it. This is suspicious to me. Indeed. But I'm not finding anything. Huh. Okay, now I need some recharging. <laughs> Not our wasted missiles on the walls. I just imagine it judging me. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not what my missiles were meant for. Stop wasting them. You're supposed to go the other way. There's, there's a door right there. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, that's enough, but I don't think I could possibly get all three of them at once then. So I wonder if mm. that... I wonder if that requires either something like a diffusion charge or more likely a spacer or wide beam. Yeah, something like that. Nice. And goodbye. There we go. I don't actually need to <laughs> um, don't need to parry them if I just do the charge uh, whatever it's called the jump. Yeah. Okay, I can't get through there because it's only one. All right, so I think we're headed towards the purple place, yes? Okay. Looks like it. As long as we're going the right way. Nah, that still hurt me. Huh. You missed. <laughs> well, I'm still doing okay, so I don't care. <laughs> These look kind of like mechs. Well, I wonder what we're going to be fighting later in the game. Deploy the mech. Okay, but actually this just leads somewhere else. What? Dyron. What, are we taking the mechs? Or... Oh, we are. Oh, it's just, oh, like it's a, just okay. a tram thing? Oh, I guess so. Okay. I thought they were like folded up mechs or yeah, something. Yeah, like the sides were the legs, kind of. But... Okay. Not really tram slash train like, but whatever you say, game. Man, was the sky always this blue? Was it always this swishy? Oh wait, we're just moving. <laughs> I remembered something I wanted to mention, but I forgot already. Oh yeah, um, I was thinking about how you know the Emmy are practically indestructible without the uh 
Omega thing. Yeah. I was thinking it would make more sense in, if it was instead of the Galactic Federation gave them armor, if whoever reprogrammed them to hunt us also gave them the armor that makes them nearly indestructible. That would make a lot more sense. It would. But then you'd have to find a way to explain that yeah. without a scan visor. And, okay. you know, that that's too much trouble. Well, I mean, Adam could have just said they seem to be a lot more armored than <laughs> the way they were when they were sent out. Actually, yeah. That would have been it. That would have been enough. I would have been satisfied with that. Also, just because... I don't know if it's that thing called Chekhov's gun or whatever, but just the fact that they've used, you know, that video of the... Uh, the ex-parasites as, you know, justification for us to come here. If if there ends up not being any X in this game, that's going to actually be disappointing. What is that, a little tank? Like a mini tank? I guess so. Gotcha. Now what? Did I miss something up here? Uh, shoot? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I just remembered what, you know, we established an episode or two ago. When in doubt, shoot. Yeah. I don't know if evading this thing is possible. Oops, I... I parried the wrong way. Gotcha. Ah, nice. So I think I've seen, like, three of those things so far, and I've been able to get to none of them. Hmm... I am noticing that these things that recharge all look somewhat different, or at least some of them do. Maybe it's dependent on the sector? Yeah, I was, I was just thinking that actually, but I don't know. Also, even still, it does look kind of out of place <laughs> in this, like, factory setting. Just... Just to be clear, this does seem like a fun game. Yeah. I am I know we're pointing out a lot of, you know, what we see that's wrong with it. That's just what or, we what we tend to do. Okay, so it's... But it's, but it's not out of malice. And so... It's just a terrain piece, I guess. What is that thing behind it, though? I don't know if I can... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Even though we we've been pointing out all of what seems to be the downsides of this game, we we are enjoying it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so I think I saw some doors with that sort of blue Bad. blue design on it, so Also that was a new enemy. Yeah, I don't know what that's for yet. Yeah, I don't think I can parry that. It's a weird defense mechanism. <laughs> Shoot needles in all directions. Wait, that's a porcupine. Well, I Actually, wait, can they shoot? I don't, they can't, can they? I don't think so. So why is this section out of power? Hmm. I'm going to... Who turned off the lights? I just want to check the rest of this room to be safe first. Oh. What? Okay. I guess it was a landline. Oh, God. This area is very not friendly. Yeah. Okay, so that's blocked up here. Whoops. There we go. Got some health back. I don't think I can reach all the way up there. What about here? Uh huh. That's blocked. Whoa. Oh, I okay. thought it was going to fall down. Yeah, it seems like the thing that would just go straight down. Yeah. All right, so I think this is the only way forward. That looks like one of those things that would send a buzzsaw. Luckily, it's also inactive. Let me guess. As soon as we restore power, this is going to become an enemy zone. It's going to become a nightmare. <laughs> yes. Oh. I couldn't tell you were charging through my charge beam. 
Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting better at noticing things that are probably destructible. Ah. Is this the power station? Will you reactivate if I stick my gun in you? Self-destruct sequence initiated. <laughs> no, it's like, you better freaking start up or I'm gonna shoot you. It's like, okay, okay, fine. I was just taking a nap. It does look like it has kind of a weird face. Uh, a little bit when the... <laughs> like the eyes? Yeah. I like that's a mouth when it's, um, <laughs> facing... When it's rotated a certain way. Yeah. Like, jeez, man. Okay, no Emmy units. Oh, but those... <laughs> The buzzsaw things I noticed. They are indeed buzzsaw things. Hmm. Okay, so this is probably missile, right? Yeah, okay. Oh. Could this be... Uh, Morph Ball? I don't know if that looks Morph Ball-like. I have no clue what that is. Oh, it's the wide beam. Ah. I probably prefer Morph Ball, but... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I do recall, like, you know, sometimes the order of abil abilities that you get seems a little strange. Like, I know in Super Metroid, I found it weird how early we got the Super Missile. Hmm. And in this, I'm finding it strange how late we're getting the Morph Ball, apparently. <laughs> like, what if this game just doesn't have the Morph Ball? That would be weird. That would not be a Metroid game. <laughs> Has there been a Metroid game without Morph Ball? I don't think so. Hmm. Because, yeah, it's one of those things that was even in the original, wasn't it? Yep. So, it would be weird if they suddenly got rid of that. Yeah, they probably won't. It's just they changed up the abilities, which ones you get when, and it's a landmine. That's right. <laughs> They've messed with the natural order. Well, it's always been somewhat varied. So that doesn't do anything with that, but I think I can open this now. Oh. oh. So it just pushes. I figured I'd do something like that. It's like, why did you make all these things? What purpose could they possibly serve? Another Emmy. Okay. <laughs> Want to take bets on what color it's going to be? Purple? I'll guess red then. Just so we don't guess the same thing. Hmm. Nope, we were both wrong. Very wrong. And it's also very saturated. Bonk. Like, oof. Also, is it going faster than it should be? I think it's faster than the other ones for sure. Open up. Let me guess, when we kill it, that's when we get some sort of speed run thing. Oh yeah, the speed boost. That would make sense. Yeah. Huh? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, oh. dang it. Oh, I, I thought I pressed it. But I guess not. So I wonder if there are two points where you can block it, like right before it impales you, maybe? Hmm. That I'm not positive about, but yeah. Although at the end there, it almost looked like you managed to lean out of the way. <laughs> I was like, wait, di did it work? Is this just awkward staring now? <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I timed the first one right, but I I could be wrong. It's not like a... That one time, I think it was an episode or two ago against the green Emmy. I, like, I was sure I got it correctly and it didn't work. Hmm. Am I just out of the way now? Did I actually escape already? Well, there's the door. Up uh, below. Yeah, I was just checking. Ah. Yeah, I... The fact that it's yellow and that it seems to move faster is a pretty... A pretty clear indicator that it's probably going to give us the speed boost once we destroy it. Hopefully. Oh, we've been here before. Huh. Yeah, I guess we can go back because we did get the, uh... Wide beam? Yes. I also wonder if if the spacer and wide beam, since they're technically the same thing, I wonder if that was just like a choice of translation that made them different. And I wonder if if it if it had the same name in the Japanese version or not. Whoops. Hmm. Leave me alone, please. 
Nice. Okay, so now I can, whoops, do that. And I guess that just gets me back here. I can't turn around and parry at the same time, unfortunately. I'll just get you for the extra health. I have just done it because I don't like them. Okay, so I guess we just go back to Kataria. Kataris. Kataris, that's right. It's because the other, the other one is like Artaria. Hmm. So I was like Artaria and Kartaria or whatever. Nope, Kataris. Kataris, whatever. Katara. I feel Which like I've, you wouldn't get unless you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender. I, I felt like I heard the name before, but yeah, I have no idea. It's one of the main characters. So how's your day been? Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Just because there's no one there. <laughs> Just insert elevator music. All right. Does your arm cannon look a bit different? I'm not sure. That would be a neat touch if they at least, you know, changed the way it looked for every upgrade. Hmm. All right. I'll have to compare and when you're editing. Yeah. Let me see. Where's the nearest triple thing? Yeah, I think that's one. Yep. Wide beam box. Just a box, though. And then uh, that leads to the door, which will probably lead to the central unit. Okay. So our path is clear. Also... It just flashed like something secret is here. Okay, but I can't get it yet. Ah. So, because I got a weapon upgrade, that might also increase the power of this. But I'm not positive. Hmm. So, I assume that you just deal triple damage now because you have three times the firepower. Yeah, it might be like slightly uh, tweaked to not be too OP. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure why I asked you. It's We're, <laughs> I, we're I, learning as we go together. I wouldn't actually know, but based on what I'd assume. You might not actually come this far. Yeah, okay. Oh. We're good. I was going to. I was gonna like jump and land on you. Yeah. Open that up just in case. There you oh. are. Okay. Not even a cinematic or anything, just You're here. Let's fight. Get it over with. Oh, this one's tougher. It's got two uh laser turrets <laughs> and two donuts. I'm wondering if once we get to the last central unit, if it's just basically gonna be Mother Brain. Probably. Wee, I'm fancy. Wee. Oh no, the Wee. turrets moved. That's Wee. scary. Wee. <laughs> Ouch, I oh. ran into that one. And, and that, that one. one. Are you dead already? You're bloody easy. Okay, the way its eye just kind of bulged out. It just made it look more cartoony. <laughs> All right, but we got right Omega Cannon Derp. Yeah, is it gonna give me anything extra with it or no? Yeah, the stream is what we got last time, so let me just make sure I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and that's that's what will melt the face off that thing literally, and then I charge up. And blow it to smithereens. Hmm. And then we can end the episode. All right. Hi, Emmy. I'm here. I might not have enough room to do this. I need a straightaway. Here we go. This might be good. At least to melt his face off. Suppressive fire. Okay, and then provided that thing doesn't come back, I just need an R straightaway. So I can uh, blast its face. 
<laughs> Can we just go around in a circle? Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Dang it. I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. Hold on, we still have like... <laughs> we're going into slightly over time, but I want to kill this thing. Here, can I actually... Nah, probably not. No, it won't. Uh, it won't change the angle for me. Is this actually gonna stun him long enough for me to charge? I, I doubt it. But ah, I did barely, but yes, that works. Kick it off the edge. <laughs> I wonder if because this thing was crawling through the the places, if this will actually give me more fall. That would make sense. Actually, you're right. The last one didn't do that, did it? I was right. All right. It is it is fun when you can actually like assume, you know, what is it going to give me and be correct about it. Nice. <laughs> it's been a long time without. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Yeah, it looks like normal. And also we can get in while we're gripping a ledge. Thank goodness. And Omega offline. Darn it. Okay, so... I can just press the slide button to get into that. Uh -huh. Instead of doing that, where I just press it down again, so... Both work. Interesting. But we finally got the morph ball, the thing we were like, when are we gonna get it? When morph ball. When. When, I say. Oh, that was an interesting looking mech in the background up there. Hmm. Indeed. And I don't know why that door is just closed. I wonder if it wants me to go a specific way. But anyways, I think we'll uh, do that next time. Sounds good. Got two upgrades. I'm happy. Hmm. So, we'll see you later. Goodbye for now, folks. Goodbye. Goodbye.